Welcome to ECA Limo Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. At the beginning of this topic, we said the key statement that will guide the beginning and the end of this topic is that for every conductor carrying current, there is a magnetic field around it. However, what we are going to realize here is that for every conductor carrying current, there is a magnetic field around it and there is a force which is produced when the electric current interacts with the magnetic field. Now, in this lesson, we are going to discuss a force on a current carrying conductor. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to determine the direction of the force on a current carrying conductor. So if you place a conductor carrying current inside a magnetic field, it will experience a force. And this is what we call a motor effect. So in this case, if you have a conductor carrying current, remember, it has a magnetic field around it. Like in this case, this conductor we have here, it has current and it has a magnetic field around it. Then you take it with this magnetic field around it and then you place it inside an external magnetic field, like using two permanent magnets, in this case with the North Pole and South Pole, this conductor is going to experience a force. And in this case, the way it is on the screen, it's going to experience a downward force. But now, how does that happen? Why downwards and not upwards? The reason why the conductor experiences a force downward is because of the reinforcement of the magnetic field above the wire and the cancellation of the magnetic field below the wire. If I can redraw a cross section of the magnets that we had earlier with a conductor in between them, like this one here, this was our magnet with North Pole and this was South Pole. And in this case, we had a wire which was moving into the surface like that. This is a cross section part of the diagram that we had earlier. So here, what you need to know is that for every conductor carrying current, this conductor has a magnetic field around it, apart from the magnetic field of these magnets. If I can draw the magnetic field due to the current flowing in this wire, I can draw it like that. Then I will use framing his right hand grip rule for a conductor carrying current, which is that, that if a conductor current carrying current is grasped, such a way that the thumb points in the direction of current, then the fingers will point in the direction of the magnetic field. So if now you place your right hand, you grasp this wire, such a way that the thumb now touches the screen, then the fingers are going to move or to point to the right side on top. So on the top of this wire, the magnetic field is like that. And if you complete them to be in a complete loop, below they will be moving to the left. You can also use swim, uh, the, the flaming is uh, the ampere swimming rule. It will give you the same result. Then now that is a magnetic field due to the wire. Now, if I draw the magnetic field due to this magnet, what we are going to realize is that this magnet is also going to produce a magnetic field, which will move from the North Pole to the South Pole of these two permanent magnets. If I can draw them here with a different ink, and then I want you to be very keen on the direction of motion of this magnetic field. So on top here, put the magnetic field of the wire or around the wire, and the magnetic field due to these magnets are moving in the same direction. So if we can count the, the, the number of magnetic field lines on top, it's three from the ma permanent magnet and three from the conductor carrying current. So there are six magnetic fields on top of this wire. But now look at below this wire. The magnetic field below the wire is moving from North Pole to South Pole. And I want you to be very keen on the direction in which now this magnetic field is moving. The magnetic field below this wire from the permanent magnet is moving from North Pole to South Pole. That is right to the, the, right to the left, from left to the right of the screen. But the magnetic field due to the wire carrying current is in moving from right to left. So in this case here, there will be a cancellation. 
there will be a cancellation of this magnetic field. And when magnetic fields have been cancelled, then we can redraw this diagram like this. So each if when magnetic fields are moving in the opposite direction, they cancel out or they neutralize each other. And in that case, we count out if one if one neutralizes the other, then there's no magnetic field in that case. So if we can redraw this one, can be shown like this. This is a magnet with north pole. Then we have another magnet here with south pole. We had our wire moving in. Then above the wire, we have the magnetic field due to this permanent magnet. And then we have magnetic field due to this wire, all moving in the same direction. So they will reinforce. They will reinforce and become six. They will reinforce and become six magnetic fields flowing in the same direction. Then down here, if we had, remember this permanent magnet can give us up to more magnetic field lines. So if we had four magnetic field lines, three of them will be cancelled by the three from the wire and therefore will only remain with only one magnetic field. So above this conductor, there is more or strong magnetic field. Down here, there will be weak magnetic field. And that's why this wire experiences a downward force it will be pushed by this strong magnetic field towards where we have a weak weak magnetic field and that's why the wire experiences a downward force so let's handle a few questions the figure below shows a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field direction of the force on the wire is as shown by the arrow state the polarities of a and b so the first thing that we should do here is first to identify the magnetic field due to this wire. This wire is moving out of the surface because the dot. So in this case, if we draw a magnetic field around it, then let me draw here so that it's large enough for us to see or to visualize what we are talking about. I'm going to draw the same, same diagram, but now it's going to be large enough. So here we have this one as A and this one as B. Then we have our conductor here, which is carrying current out of the surface. Then the force is upward. So in this case, if we can draw the magnetic field around this uh, uh, current or this, this wire, in this case, let me draw it in a different way, which will make you understand better. So if we have that one as our magnetic field, this is our magnetic field around that wire, like that. So in this case, we can use framing his right hand rule to determine the direction of magnetic field. In this case, if we grasp this conductor right that the thumb points outside the screen, then above here, there will be a magnetic, or the, the, the direction of magnetic field will be to the left side then below there will be the right side now if the force f is pointing up it means up here there was a cancellation of this magnetic field it means these two magnets were producing a magnetic field from north pole to south pole which were opposite to this magnetic field up here so like in this case if this magnet produced three magnetic fields like this, which are moving in opposite direction like that of the wire carrying current. And then below here, it also produced three magnetic fields. If it produced three magnetic fields, then below here, they are moving in the same direction. Then up here, they are moving in opposite direction. That's why they have canceled out. Therefore, it means this one must be North Pole because if the one that will produce either down there, there is a reinforcement, up there, they are cancelled out, then it means this uh, magnetic field must be moving from point A to point B. So in this case, for up there, for a force to be experienced upward, it means this magnetic field were cancelled out and then down here, they reinforced each other. Therefore, on top here, we only have very weak magnetic field. And that's why it moved up. So point A will be North Pole, 
point B will be South Pole. So A is North Pole, North Pole, then this one is South Pole. When you are told you state, you don't write N and S, you just write the name, you state the statement, North Pole and South Pole. So another question, the figure below shows a conductor C in the magnetic field. The conductor carries current flowing into the paper. That's why we have a, a, a circle with an X. Sketch the resultant magnetic field between the poles on the bar magnet, and then show on the diagram the direction of the force uh, acting on the conductor. So in this case, what you need to know or to do first is to determine the magnetic field around that conductor which is carrying current into the paper. And in this case, if you draw your magnetic field lines around this one like that, and you use framing this right hand rule side that you position your finger in a way that the thumb points into the screen, then you are going to realize that above here, the magnetic field is going to flow or to move to the right, then below it's going to move to the left. And now if you, you, you draw the magnetic field due to the magnet, then they are going to move from the North Pole to South Pole. And in this case, above here, the magnetic field of the conductor and that of the magnet will be flowing in the same direction. Then below here, the magnetic field of that magnet will be moving opposite the magnetic field of the conductor. Therefore, below here, there will be a cancellation. So there's a reinforcement, reinforcement above the wire, and then there is a cancellation, cancellation below. It's a cancellation below. Therefore, it means above there will be a strong magnetic field, below there will be a weak magnetic field. So in this case, you have uh, drawn or sketched the resultant magnetic field uh, due to the poles of this magnet. And now the second question was, uh, show on the diagram the direction of the force F acting on the conductor. What you do here, you you see where there is a cancellation, that's where the conductor will move to. You draw uh, an arrow with F to show the direction of force. So this conductor will be moved down. So that will mark the end of our lesson today. In the next lesson, we will discuss Fleming's left hand rule.